your local weather authority. Always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Up until last week, we were really needing the rain, but we more than made up for it. In fact, now for the month of May, Roanoke has seen about seven inches of rain. The average is about four and a third, and that's good enough for the 10th wettest May on record. But 80% of that came just last week. Now it's the heat. That's the big story of Virginia Tech Carillion Skycam showing a few of those cumulus clouds bubbling up in the heat of the day. Current temperature already 88 degrees, but when you factor in the humidity every now and then, it feels like the heat index is up to 91. So if you have to mow that recently rained on yard, you got to take it easy out there and make sure you're staying hydrated. Temperatures upper 80s and lower 90s for most of the area throughout the afternoon, even by 7 p.m. Most of us sitting at 80 to 85 degrees. So that uptick in humidity, that's going to keep temperatures from dropping very much overnight. Withville, Pulaski, Hillsville, 60 degrees. Bedford, Alta Vista, 67. Lynchburg, Rocky Mountain. Mount Roanoke 66 first thing tomorrow morning. We're going to keep the heat intact as we head into tomorrow ahead of this front. This is what produced some of that severe weather we were showing you at the beginning of the newscast. Can roll out a stray downpour today or tomorrow, but the better chance for showers and storms is going to come as that front taps into our heat. So late Thursday afternoon into the evening is when we could see some showers and thunderstorms developing some of those on the strong to severe side. I do think as we get closer to midnight Thursday, that's when things start to taper off a little bit, but there you see in the green anywhere in the green at least stands the chance to see a strong or severe storm. The slightly better chance though is in the yellow, especially as you head toward Northern Virginia and the Delmarva Peninsula. So if you do get any pictures of storms by Thursday, make sure you send those pictures to us on pin it on our weather app. That way we can easily share them on air and online. Two day zone forecast showing the heat temperatures low to mid 80s in the NRV tomorrow, middle to upper 80s in the Highlands, Roanoke, Lynchburg, south side between 91 and 93. Thursday, still low to mid 80s in the NRV and Highlands, Roanoke 89, Lynchburg and south side lower 90s. So you see why I'm thinking we could have a few stronger thunderstorms. It's also going to be quite humid. The dew point in the 60s, that's well, when you start to feel the air. It's air you can wear out there for sure now through Thursday, but that front is going to bring a nice drop in humidity, nice and comfortable, not exactly feeling tropical, but we got to start focusing on the tropics. Tomorrow is the beginning of Atlantic hurricane season and right on cue, 60% chance of getting our first name storm. Doesn't look like that's going to have any immediate impact on our weather, but still nothing is still something I should say that we're going to keep an eye on. If you have interest in Florida or the East Coast, that would be heading into next week. As far as this week is concerned, there's the heat today, tomorrow and Thursday. That storm system brings in a better chance for showers and thunderstorms uh, Thursday afternoon and evening. Friday looks mostly dry and over the course of the day, Friday will start out humid, but then later in the day, things are going to start to feel much nicer and that low humidity is going to last throughout the weekend. So that means cooler mornings in the 50s with afternoon highs in the upper 70s and lower 80s. So great weekend to be out and about for the, the first weekend of June. It does look like though we're going to start to heat things back up heading into early next week. The start of meteorological summer. Yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. So it's going to feel like it certainly is <laughs> going to feel like it right on cue. And uh, again, thankfully, nothing in the tropics coming toward us, but still going to watch out and see if we have Alex within the next few days. Just a great looking weekend coming our way. Absolutely. Something to look forward to on a Tuesday. Yeah. Thanks, Chris.